Hello, welcome. Today we're going to see if Minecraft is a multi-cord application. What this means is that Minecraft uses more than one of the available cores that is provided. Basically, some processors have multiple cores. Long story short, it just means that Minecraft will run better if it uses more of them, and that would also explain why pro high processor speeds also help with running Minecraft. So, for the purpose of this video, I have got all my cores up in the corner, uh, what percentage they're being used at, etc. Please keep in mind I am recording at the time, and OBS does a really good job of making sure that it hits all the cores, not individually affecting just one. So, I have got a default copy of the newest version of Minecraft. We're going to open it up, we're going to load up a world. And you guys will see while recording, it's going to be a little bit um, difficult to see. But for the best results, I'm actually going to switch onto my phone to get the uh, footage that we need. Because simply while recording, it is not necessarily the best to go through and you know judge results off of that. Because right now, if you were to look at it, you'd assume, hey, it looks like Minecraft is using all the cores, which is obviously a very it would be very nice. Um, and obviously, I'm getting good FPS right now, really no issue. But that's just simply because of my processor. That's really nothing to do with, you know, how things are running. So, what we're going to do is we're going to switch over and get some results on the phone. Now, before you all get, you know, really into it, um, check. You guys can see right here that the results pretty much, you know, show that every core is being used. Um, but we're going to switch over there now, and we're going to show you what happens when we stop recording, and we switch over to the regular, um, you know, not, not stressed out computer. And we're going to show you without anything else running. So, be right back. So here we are on the second uh, monitor right now. You can see the CPUs. Um, you can see that clearly this is just running Minecraft. There's OBS over there. You can see really clear that there's some individual cores that are definitely being used more than others. So what we're going to do is we're going to start walking around now, testing to see get some chunks loading, etc. And as you can see, though, I think CPU number one appears to be the one that it's, I think Minecraft is on because you can definitely see here clearly there is one CPU being used. I mean, obviously you can tell there's a couple others. Don't get me wrong, but I think that Minecraft either is a two-core or a single-core application just by um, seeing that it looks like it's only using really two cores. That's the only thing I have currently running. Um, it's really difficult to see, but it does look like it is just a two-core kind of application. So I've actually read up online that it appears that one of the it does I think sometimes used more than one core for chunk loading or something like that. But what we can see here is clearly it looks like it's using two cores and um, a little bit surprising. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up Optifine which is a um, uh, something that claims to use more than one core and double your frames and stuff and we're going to open it up and see how that does. Okay we're back but this time we have a modification to Minecraft called Optifine. If you don't know what this is simply it claims that it uses more than one core to run the game and we want to find out if this is true if it's possible or does anything change when we're actually using Optifine except for the fact that it probably optimizes and makes things a little, little bit better run a little bit more efficiently which there is nothing wrong with that but claiming that it uses more than one core and it does or doesn't might actually be a good factor to know so what we're going to do is as I said we're going to run the kind of the same test we're going to play some regular Minecraft um, you guys will obviously see the same results over here while we are recording um, simply because of that reason but we're going to switch over to the phone once again and test it with while of course we're doing um, close out of everything and just see what it's doing in general so let's open up not the same world again so we have a good you know reference of what's going on obviously Optifine is going to run things you know much faster we're seeing obviously oh that's some skyrocketing FPS um, so obviously Optifine obviously will do something that's kind of true I guess it obviously did something Obviously, I'm getting a lot more FPS, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, I'm getting more efficient gameplay, etc. But now, let's switch over to the phone real quick, and let's see exactly what we're getting in that footage-wise, so we can see exactly what's going on. So, be right back. So, we're back once again. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you guys could give it a big thumbs up. I had a lot of fun recording this one. And, of course, you know, let me know down in the description what you guys like to see, if there's something else you'd like to, you know, see me record, or you have a question. Put it down below, I'll do my best to test it out and experiment with it. And of course, as I said, I do lots of this kind of stuff on my channel. So if you are interested and you kind of like that stuff, check out my channel for more information. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Bye.